Cartier Canal, has out. In the aftermath of the financial crisis in the early 21st century, this former industrial area by the canal became one of the many so-called creative hubs. These hubs became gathering places for small startups with innovative ideas. Creatives worked and lived together in these zones of creativity and made the economy boom again. This evolution did not remain unnoticed by big companies. Multinationals invested in creativity and built their own artificial creative hubs. Initially these places were just creative work environments, but they evolved quickly into communities for living, working and education. When in 2134 scientists discovered a way to determine somebody's creativity immediately after birth, things went wrong. From now on, every baby could be tested on its creative potential. If the newborn showed a high degree of creativity, it was taken away from its parents and placed in quarantine. These babies then got obtained by the highest bidding company, and were placed in creation camps. These creation camps were environments that were designed to stimulate creativity. By working, living and relaxing together with other creatives, people were stimulated to deliver innovative ideas. Contact with the outer world was impossible. People who became less productive were removed from the system. In 2204, 52 years after the establishment of the first creation camp, the crossover revolution brought an end to the ruling capitalist system. The creation camps were shut down and the creatives got reunited with their families.